Braidwood is a stopover town, but local businesses are desperate for people to stay. It's very hard for uh, young people in hospitality to find somewhere to live in a small country town. It's really expensive, rents are very high, and there's not much available. Shop owners like Mark Barrington are having to work longer hours. We have situations where we're unable to put certain products on. And I have no sweets in the cabinet this week because I don't have enough staff. This hotel has brought family in to help cover the staff shortages. There's a uh, competition for employment. Uh, we've got a, you know, the mine and uh, uh, Canberra close by, and a lot of people travel to Canberra and for work. But some businesses have had no choice but to shut up shop midweek to ensure they get a much needed rest before busier days. We're happy with the staff we have, uh, but a lot of them are fully booked. If they work for us part time, they work elsewhere part time. Braidwood finds itself in an interesting predicament. This was a town that was seriously impacted by the bushfires and also COVID-19. At one point, its economy was on its knees. Now it's got something of a boom on its hands, but some businesses can't take full advantage. It'll take a major shift in the market to fix the issue. We have a distinct lack of affordable accommodation here. Accommodation is very expensive and there just aren't any homes. It's a very hard nut to crack because uh, you know, hospitality doesn't support the sort of wages that allow people really realistically to commute. You know, I've had people work, who live in Queen Bianne and come to Braidwood and uh, you know, the equation doesn't work very well. For now, most people coming into the town are just passing through. Isaac Naruzi, ABC News, Braidwood.